Hello, Maximus here with uh, a battle between uh, one of my favorite matchups, Rome and Carthage. You can see the builds here. So we're just going to jump straight into it. I'm putting my uh, man in a slightly defensive formation. Uh, late Carthaginian Hoplites up front, three mercenary Balearic slingers in the back, Libyan infantry, six of them as the main part of my force and a few wings, uh, two wings of late Libyan Hoplites, Carthaginian cavalry and mercenary Iberian swords. And my general general's bodyguard is at the back there and my opponent has brought some Numidians undoubtedly to take care of any elephants. I think he was thinking the same thing with all these Velites but he has a strong skirmishing uh, component with three auxiliary Syrian archers. Uh, some strong infantry in these Evocati cohorts but I think where he spent a uh, few denarii wrong was with these legionary cavalry that he also gave some veterancy. So you can see here engagement already starting and this means that his Numidians are going to uh, move into range of my slingers. So I'm going to push up with my Hoplites and keep my Balearics here so they can shoot at, uh, shoot at and keep away these uh, auxiliary Numidians. I'm just going to take it easy because I see that my opponent is eager to start en engaging here with his skirmishing cavalry. So I'm just going to hold and let him hopefully run run his uh, units around a bit and make them tired. I'm in no hurry to engage this line here uh, because he he has uh, somewhat of a skirmishing advantage. Not too worried about the Velites, but the Syrian archers can uh, really damage my uh, Balearic slingers, although I think they are fairly evenly matched. So here we go again, uh, coming in with the uh, Numidian cavalry, just trying to make sure that they can't get through, uh, through to my slingers here. Going to give the slingers some attack orders, they are a bit bunched up here behind the Libyan Hoplites, so I'm moving them a bit to the front and let's see how the shots do against these Numidians. Instantly dropping. They really don't like being shot at by anything and I'm able to catch some of them here with my uh, Carthaginian cavalry but they already took uh, quite a lot of losses from javelins but they were able to take out 20 uh, Numidians so that was a nice trade off there. Carthaginian cav is at best medium uh, melee cavalry and they don't excel in any role so you really have to support them with units like these uh, Iberian swords that can throw javelins and the Balearic slingers that can make other cavalry keep their distance. So now it's starting to look bad for these uh, Numidians. Let's see if we got some slingshot coming in. Yep, there we go. Horse is going down. So pretty soon these Numidians won't be a factor anymore. So more of his skirmishing is, is going down. I'm pretty happy about this position, I'm just staying out of range as you can see of his uh, Syrian archers, maybe try to entice them forward. And here I don't really understand what the idea behind this charge here is, because uh, I have a mass of infantry here, I have cavalry, I have uh, guys able to throw javelins before being charged, so the skirmishing continues over here, I'm using my uh, Iberians to try and shoot and finish his Numidians and this is just a waste of cavalry. Uh, I'm able to counter charge instantly um, although he didn't lose any guys to the javelins that will soon change when I run in my Carthaginian cavalry and now he's trying to move around here but the thing is there isn't really much to do because since I have two lines of infantry uh, I can just turn around these guys and uh, it won't be an issue. So already these uh, mercenary Iberians have made themselves worthwhile by killing 30 uh, Numidian cavalry. And over here his legionary cavalry is, is dying. Now he could of course try to go for some rear charges here. Still not a very good engagement for him since I have this Libyan Hoplites here. Um, throwing uh, some uh, javelins at him. I just pulled back out of range of his uh, skirmishers there and the Numidians are going down to these Iberian swordsmen and they have already paid for themselves by killing all of this uh, Numidian cav and I, it, it looks like my opponent just forgot about these guys because now they are going to get hammered. So here I'm finishing up that fight, turning around my Libyans, javelins kill a lot of his guys, my general's bodyguard is going to rush in and get some kills and uh, like I said, I really don't know what the intention of was behind doing uh, this type of maneuver. Uh, I should have just kept them back and, and used them later on in the battle. Now he's wasted a lot of his cavalry. 
and um, they really can't do anything against this uh, infantry. So I'm not, I'm not too afraid of just sending in my general and my uh, Carthaginian cavalry. It doesn't seem like he wants an engagement here, which I agree with. But still, it just makes him lose uh, lose units way too quickly. So I'll have my cavalry uh, left when when uh, in the end game. Now he's, he's charging in here, but legionary cavalry isn't really good cavalry either. They have nice armor and nice health, but that's about it. And here I'm coming in with some Libyan infantry that are going to support the fight with uh, sword and javelin. And uh, I don't know why I popped the general's ability there, maybe just to increase the melee defense a bit, I don't remember. But um, I'm charging after him with my Carthaginian cav, and that is just to stop them. Uh, because he doesn't have attack orders on my guys now. So I'm sending in these uh, Carthaginian cav as well just to trap them. And I gave my general attack orders, but it looks like they didn't go through. Here we go. So I'm going to be able to surround his legionary cavalry here. And although my Carthaginian cavalry, they have better melee attack. And, uh, but the, the uh, legionary cavalry are a bit, uh, a bit stronger, I think, uh, in, a, in a prolonged melee, perhaps. I don't know, I haven't tested that, but they are fairly equal units, not good cavalry units, but nice to have in the late game. So here his last legionary cavalry is running in, uh, and I am just going to start engaging with this uh, line here, since I see he's pushing up his Syrian archers. So I'm going to give my uh, late Libyan Hoplites attack orders, and hopefully they'll draw some fire on the way in. And here we go, wavering, and I'm sending in infantry to support here. So, uh, in a in a, it's very very rare that you want to engage uh, with cavalry when you don't have infantry close by. And if your opponent has infantry close by, then you really don't want to engage with uh, with cavalry unless you can smash the infantry aside, because the cavalry can stop the can stop your cavalry, and and they will uh, take losses on the disengage. So. Or they can stay in a prolonged fight and uh, and they can die. So I'm just closing the gap, so isn't they able to uh, come in this way and charging him with the uh, Libyans? Not too um, not too scared of the charge of these guys. And over here, my late Libyan Hoplites are they're just pushing back the Syrian archers basically, and um, they will they will die now too. But let's see if he chooses to spend some missiles on them. Seems like he does, which is nice for me. Uh, and they have gotten a kill. They killed one Evocati, so <laughs> good job, guys. These are just uh, amazing uh, missile uh, shields, good for making pin cushions out of because of the good shield and armor. So now it's uh, the cavalry fight is almost d done. It's just basically me running after his legionary cavalry, and you can see the Carthaginian cav got quite a few kills. Uh, the legionary cavalry as well. Uh, they have 13 kills here, so not a lot. So now I, I decide to uh, push up with the Carthaginian Hoplites, take fire on the way in and make way for my Libyan infantry so they can get some nice charges in. So Hoplites uh, are very good damage sponges. They have good shields, good armor, they have okay health. Uh, 60 health, that is pretty good for infantry. Um, Good. It's like mid-range, uh, mid-range level of health. So this allows me pushing them up, allows me to start focus firing on Assyrian archers, and you will see them start to drop fairly quickly when Balarics are firing at them. Not the best angle for this unit, but uh, this unit is doing okay. And as you can see, these Carthaginian Hoplites, they are taking some of the fire, but now is shifting fire to my uh, Balarics slingers. Um, you can see they are winning by a small margin against the uh, against the um, Syrian archers, but I am focus firing, so the Syrian archers are dying much quicker. It looks like I can't see that here, but it looks like uh, well, I am focusing fire, but I don't know if my opponent is. So I'm going to get rid of one of his units, and then it's going to be two uh, two versus three here. So Syrian Archer wavering, and I still have 75 guys left in the units that in the unit that's being shot at. So skirmishing is going well at the moment, and it's not looking good for Rome here. Velite is moving up, and when the Velites are moving up, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to see some javelins uh, coming at my 
my uh, Balerix. They can just fire at uh, my Hoplites all day, that's fine. But still, I want to push them back and start the engagement. Cavalry posted at the rear to take out the skirmishers when they are pushing through here. And it looks like my opponent just forgot about this unit, so I'm just leaving it be. Uh, it could do some damage here, but I'm not too worried since I have so much infantry. And now the glory charge for my uh, Carthaginian Hoplites. Don't expect them to do much against this Avocati, but they will eat up uh, Pila. No damage taken. And although they won't kill uh, too many of them, they will make them tired. And they will prevent my uh, opponent's skirmishers from not being killed by this cavalry here. So while the Hoplites are doing their thing, I am using my... Uh, I'm using my uh, Balearic Slingers to attack some of his skirmishers, shooting so a little bit at his Evocati. These mercenary Iberians are shooting at his general, which he won't like much. This is a little unit, very cheap and very uh, not very durable, but quite useful. And you can see it's uh, absorbing some fire here and dropping very quickly from Syrians. That's fine, it's not crucial that it survives at this point. So now I'm lining up my Libyans, charging in, and now the Avocati will start to drop. Avocati will beat Libyan infantry, but when the Libyan infantry get the charge and get Pila thrown and uh, the Avocati already have been fighting Hopites, then it looks a bit better for the Libyan infantry. So here we go with some Carthaginian cavalry, just charging straight in with getting some uh, Pila thrown in their faces, or uh, javelins rather. General is wavering, these Velites are being mopped up. So, overall, it's the beginning of the end for Rome. I'm just leaving these guys here to uh, until the last uh, Hoplite engagement is done. And as you can see, the late Carthaginian Hoplites only managed to get 10 kills, but they managed to drop the fatigue level of the Avocati cohort, so they're no longer fresh, and they will now die quicker to my Libyans. And now they have a wrong attack order here, so they won't get the charge, but no matter at this point. Could have been important if uh, it wasn't going so well. And now the Avocati are being hammered by some uh, Libyan infantry here. They have engaged them at a nice angle, and they are being shot at by slingers, so they are going down. Here we have a 3 versus 1 situation with uh, mercenary Iberian swords doing what they do best, rear charges. Rallying a bit, don't really need it, but always nice to have a few boni stacked up. Carthaginian cavalry charging after the auxiliary Syrian archers. They have done an amazing job in this battle. Um, Syrian archers are routing all across the board, so uh, no longer a factor with the skirmishers. The general is dead, and now his last units are going to rout. And that's it. So, this battle could have gone quite differently if my opponent was more conservative with his cavalry. As you can see, he's he wasted a, a huge amount of uh, points on units that weren't able to contribute to, to the battle in any meaningful way. Uh, his, uh, his Syrian archers weren't able to be very effective. Avocati always do uh, always do at least okay, but when they aren't, they aren't supported like this, uh, it, it's a problem. Uh, and I guess it would be better to, instead of uh, giving these uh, legionary cavalry some chevrons and giving the Avocati some chevrons, I would rather, uh, I would like to see fewer cavalry, um, maybe just one Numidian against Carthage in case of elephants. Uh, you have a really powerful tool against elephants in these auxiliary Syrian archers as well. And um, legionary cavalry, five legionary cavalry, I would much rather like to see two. Uh, and would like to see all of those points spent on more infantry, of course. Uh, if he had, if he had uh, a few more infantry, this would be more difficult for me. As you can see, uh, the Hopites didn't do much other than die, uh, really. But that's what they're there for, to eat missiles and to die. Carthaginian Cav did uh, okay for once, and the Libyan infantry are just there to kind of mop up what's left. And the mercenary Iberian swords, although they didn't get too many kills, uh, they got kills on high value targets, and they almost destroyed two units of uh, depleted Numidians, so, so fairly happy with those. Always fun to play against Rome as Carthage. Um, 
thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the battlefield.